First of all, in the magazine that broke the story, In Touch Weekly, it says he had a five-month relationship with Kim. Now, I got to ask you, was this a relationship exclusively over text and over the phone, or was it a physical relationship, Brett? Well, I've said before that, that, it, that it, was, it was a physical relationship, but when I mean physical, I say that meaning there was a physical aspect in the relationship, meaning that I don't want to get really into the details, but she did tell me that she was, you know, touching herself in a physical way over the phone towards me. So when I say physical, that's what I mean physical. But was it a physical relationship, meaning I saw her in person? No. Got it. Okay, so to clear that up, she says she has never met you. I assume she means by that face-to-face. -face. Have the two of you ever met face-to-face? -face? No, we have not. Um, she, was, she was very busy. It was, it was during my football season. She was opening in her stores in, in Miami and New York. I know her book, her book um, signing was launched, uh, being launched at the time, so we weren't, we weren't able to uh, connect at the time. How did you come to communicate with her in the first place, Brett? My younger brother, Colin, was talking to Lauren London, um, one of her best friends, and my brother t uh, called me one day. I was in the studio recording a song, and he said, uh, you know, Lauren wants to know if, if Kim could have your number. And I said, Kim who? And he said, Kim Kardashian. I thought he was playing, and he was dead serious. So I said, sure, why not? And about 10 minutes later, I received a phone call in the studio, and that's, that's how it all happened. So in your mind, it is clear this was Kim Kardashian. This actually went down. And as you well know, Brett, Kim, not that happy at all about what you're putting out there. In a brand new court document just obtained by TMZ, Kim's attorney claims that you have made false, defamatory, and injurious statements. And they basically want you to stop talking. The letter reveals some of the claims they would like you to retract and apologize for. I just want to run a couple of these down. That you and Ms. Kardashian secretly had a five-month affair during the time Ms. Kardashian has been in a relationship with her fiancé, Chris Humphreys. That Ms. Kardashian engaged in sexting and phone sex with you during that time. That Ms. Kardashian sent sexually explicit pictures of herself to you. And the list goes on and on, Brett. Clearly, Kim, not playing around here. Do you plan to apologize or retract any of these claims that I just mentioned? I do not plan to apologize and retract anything. What I've said is is the complete honest truth, and I mean you can't you can't fault somebody for telling the truth. I, that's that's just plain and simple. Well, here's the thing that I am having a hard time wrapping my head around, Brett. Is I, I can't understand what reason you would possibly have to lie about something like this because obviously you know what's at stake. I mean, here you and I are talking about it. I also can't understand why Kim would threaten to sue you and release a statement saying that she's never even heard of you if this wasn't all a lie. You've come forward to clear your name, but I got to tell you, and I think you're coming to understand this, unless you can offer up some kind of proof, it is only really making you look like you're lying. You know, people are starting to question your credibility, and I know you're, you're talking so you can help clear up your name. So, Brett, what can you tell us today that would help people believe you are telling the truth? Because obviously simply saying it isn't enough for most people. Right, AJ. And at the end of the day, I don't understand how you can take somebody to court and sue somebody for telling the truth. Because once we all go to, go to a court, we all are under oath. So I don't understand how you can fault me or try to sue me for telling the truth.